but if you're trying to mimic the Apple Watch at all, just be warned that that is not what it is. Hey, Internet Harris here. So the Apple Watch, especially the Series 4 and Series 5, uh, is the best smartwatch on the market, hands down. But in terms of training and running, it absolutely drives me crazy especially for marathon training. So I wanted to see what Garmin could offer. I wanted to get their smartest running watch that I could get for under $500 to see if it was smart enough to be able to replace my Apple Watch and serve as a trusty daily running device. But again, it just had to be smart enough because I am spoiled by the Apple Watch and all of its functionality. This is the Garmin Venue, which is basically an OLED touchscreen version of the Garmin Vivo Active 4. We're gonna see if this can compete with the Apple Watch in terms of smart functionality. And it can't. So to start, it had the basics that I wanted. It had music support, notification support, wireless payment, and some interactions with my phone, especially the making my phone beep feature because I'm always losing my phone and I use that all the time. And might as well start there. And here's a quick comparison to show you that it is so much better on the Apple Watch where I can make it ping and flash. Whereas on the Garmin, I can just make it do like a little ringtone, which isn't very loud. All right, so we'll start with what I like about the Garmin. So just like the 245 watch from Garmin this year, this has music support out of the box. So you can sync Amazon Music, Spotify, and one other service. And I think Spotify works best uh, because I've seen good things from that from other people in terms of Spotify. I'm trying this with Amazon Music because I have Amazon Prime and it works okay. The app crashes all the time when I try to launch it from my watch, but I synced the black keys on here in like two minutes and it actually connected to my AirPods instantly and I didn't even have to remove it from my iPhone so I can still switch between my iPhone and my Garmin using my AirPods Pro and so that was awesome. And when I was running, I didn't have any connectivity issues and the controls are a little bit wonky, especially for the Amazon Music. The volume is several taps. You can do the controls from your earbuds uh, outside of voice control, so that is nice. And of course, you cannot get um, LTE, so you can't stream anything while you're running. You have to load everything up beforehand. Now, if you have something like Spotify, you can load up podcasts and playlists and do it exactly how you want it. And that's actually really solid, and it'll be a really good experience with your Bluetooth earphones. Now, the other option is to actually import your music from iTunes or from your Windows computer right onto here. You have to own the music, so an Apple Music library won't work, but if you have the songs downloaded and you own them, you can add them to your Garmin and that's gonna work pretty well. So I was pleasantly surprised by audio on here on music, the fact that I could fairly easily download it to the watch, that I can add it from third party and that the connectivity to my AirPods was really solid but obviously I cannot stream anything. Uh, I do have some limits to what I can add and it's just not as versatile as the Apple Watch. But if you're a Spotify user, it's actually better to actually download things on this watch than on the Apple Watch. But as an Apple Music person, it's inferior, but it works if you have the right system to go with it. Wireless payment. I mean, this one's pretty simple. You add your credit card onto here. I believe you can add multiple credit cards. I just like to have this in case I'm out on a long run or really just anywhere. I don't have my phone with me and I need to buy some food, a quick snack or energy bar or anything like that. This is really handy to just pull up the mobile payment and pay using my credit card just on the Garmin. So it has that. Okay, now notifications. And the Apple Watch does this so well. Not only can you choose which apps you want to notify on your watch, but you can make it a ping and make a sound, or you can just have it vibrate, or you can have it silent, or you can have it do group notifications. There's just a lot of notification support and control on the Apple Watch. And of course, Apple has made this beautiful and it works just like an iPhone basically. It really is just a miniature iPhone when it comes to notifications, including responding to notifications, quick responses, full responses, dictation with the microphone, all these kind of things, answering phone calls. It's just, it's awesome on the Apple Watch. And then when I switched to this, it reminded me of just a very generic Bluetooth watch in terms of notification support. Just like my Pebble, like years ago, my Pebble Steel was pretty much the same as this. When a notification comes in, it's either silent, if I have the vibration off, 
or it's a pretty loud vibration that might wake me up from a nap, whereas that would not happen with the gentle haptic engine on the Apple Watch. That is like a really soft vibration that only you can hear. This is gonna be louder. If you have it off your wrist, it's not gonna detect that and not gonna mute the notifications like it would on the Apple Watch. It's just clunky. You can only respond to notifications if you have an Android phone, and even then messages are just a quick response. You can answer or decline phone calls, but of course you have to take it on the phone because there's no microphone on here. And when I have my watch away from my phone for a while and I come back, it'll just spam me with my notifications and sometimes it doesn't allow me to clear out of it. It's clunky and it's cumbersome and it's not super practical. I mean, you do have some settings, you can at least make it for only phone calls and text messages and to ignore all other notifications that go to your phone, um, which would be like mail and just any other app. And you can also have it hide the contents to only give you the sender, but then you can't ever see the context of the message. You'd have to check it on your phone. So notifications on here are really basic. It's the same as pretty much any other smartwatch or running watch that has notification support. Not impressive by any means. Now you can change the watch faces and there are actually some decent options. And with the color screen, it's kind of nice. There is an always on mode, which works well enough. I mean, it's not as good as the Apple Watch by any means, but it works and it's good enough for you know a Garmin. And you can also add different metrics, so different data types and fields within the running app, which is pretty cool. And there's like its own app store that you can download different programs and different applications. So you're not totally limited to what's on the watch out of the box. You can customize it a little bit on your own. And that's actually pretty nice. Doesn't compete with all of the Apple Watch's super functional apps. But for a Garmin, I think the app support and what you can download is actually not bad at all. Now, in terms of running, there's some things that drive me crazy. The auto pause, it's just dumpster fire. The only app that I've ever used that has good auto pause is the Strava app on the Apple Watch. This auto pause is terrible. And the default Garmin app doesn't have a ton of customizations and map options and stuff like that. So you'll have to download that third party and they're not gonna be quite as fluid and fast as the default Garmin app. So it's a little bit limited in that sense. But this at least does have physical buttons, which are a huge plus over the Apple Watch when you're running, being able to do manual splits using a physical button and pause and resume using a physical button is a major, major win over the Apple Watch. So at the end of the day, music was the most impressive aspect of this watch, and it's nice to have wireless payment, or contactless payment on the watch. But I quickly learned that this will not replace an Apple Watch in terms of functionality and smartwatch features. I probably should have expected that, but if you're really going for this more for the running, it's a pretty great watch um, with some nice smart-ish features. But if you're trying to mimic the Apple Watch at all, just be warned that that is not what this is designed for and that's not what you're gonna get. Anyway, I'll leave some links down in the description if you wanna check this out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.